Hey everybody, welcome back to Using Emacs. It's been a while since my last Emacs video, um, and uh, some of you have been uh, kind of nudging me to do more. Um, one of the problems is I, I haven't really figured out what I want to do next for uh, Emacs-based videos, um, as I've covered most of the stuff that I regularly use. Uh, one of the things that I'm looking into are the, uh, the modes that manage your window layout, uh, like winter mode, which is pretty simple, uh, or perspective, or persp mode, or eyebrows, but I can't really get my head around, I get my head around them, but they, they, they don't seem to be natural to me, and I haven't worked them into my workflow yet. Um, so, so I'm not doing those yet. Um, I do wanna do a Majit one, or a Magit one, but I, I, I wanna work a little bit more um, uh, get more comfortable with that as well and uh, for those of you um, you know I think all of us in the community know about the uh, the Kickstarter to support uh, the developer of that uh, which I contributed to and a lot of people did that was really awesome that that happened um, really happy to be able to support um, to support that work um, but anyway that's another video um, another one that I'm trying to get more into is uh, Dered um, and get that into my workflow but again it's not quite there um, but um, I did see a package this morning uh, that was recently released. I saw this on the Emacs Reddit. You can see here called Tremax, and I thought it was pretty cool. And I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I think a lot of people probably will. Um, every time I look at videos online, uh, learning a new tool, like recently I've been playing with Vue.js. Um, whenever, you know, usually the editor they use will be either Sublime Text or Atom. That seems to be the most common, um, and they always have. Um, this nice little file chooser down the side and uh, Tremax is something that basically sets that up um, and it, it's kind of like making Emacs look like those other browsers or work like those other browsers and that's not I probably won't use it um, because um, again I've been using Emacs without that for so long but it is pretty nifty it's a pretty cool package I want to show it to you in a second um, and if I do go to a file browser um, I think it will be like I, I think it might very well be this one it's a really it's a nice implementation, um, and we'll check that out. Um, but anyway, just um, ed but it is in a way trying to make Emacs look like uh, other editors. Um, or, or take features from other editors, and that's good when it makes sense. I guess the biggest example of that is um, Evil Mode or Space Max, because you're trying to make Emacs act like VI. Um, I, I guess maybe that's a little bit different because it's a um, uh, because it's the whole modal thing or another great example is multiple cursors which is a really cool package but I, I don't find myself using it that much because I, I use macros and I edit mode to a similar effect without the multiple cursors um, or another one is the tab bar I'm, I don't have it normally installed but I use try to set that up uh, so tab bar mode you know you have um, it's a little small if you see you know, so I can go, you know, it brings up a tab bar of your tabs. Um, if you're comfortable with buffers, you know, I just rather use um, iBuffer uh, for my selections and I have it set up a little bit. And uh, so let me turn off tab bar. But what I really wanted to talk about here is this Tremax mode. And so um, here's the here's the GitHub page and here's a little, uh, you know, a little view of it. Um, and for installation, I haven't even played with this much. Installation, I just really, I just copy the the installation here. Uh, the only thing I did is since I don't have Space Max and I therefore I don't have a Space Max default map, I took this out of my configuration uh, because it didn't work because it didn't have a map. It said it couldn't find the map. But I'm still working on the keys. But here's the basic use. Let's let's say I'm in here and I want to get this file bar. It's um, the default or one of the defaults that it binds to is F8. Um, to tr toggle the Tremax thing, and so bang F8, and here I've got my whole directory tree here, uh, which looks a lot like, you know, so I can go to Dropbox, I can tab to open it, you know, tab to open, tab to close, let, let, let's say I open it, let's say I go to, I don't know, why don't I go to somewhere where I have files that I don't mind sharing, I mean, here I'm assuming, yeah, I can just use all the Emacs features, like I can use, um, I just search for GH, uh, where I keep my GitHub stuff, and I can just search for that and uh, use all the power of Emacs. I don't have to use my mouse. You know, again, search GH, bang on there, open it up. Um, I'm just using, don't know what happened there. Let's go back to here, open that up. 
I closed it, opened it up. Um, why don't we, yeah, it looks a little buggy still, but still let's keep persisting. Uh, why don't we look at APC? I don't know, you know, period one, you know, bang, and there is my file, and that's pretty good. And I can toggle this open and close. Or if I want to, I can hit the question mark. It brings up a nice hydro with some help so I can see OO opens no split, OH horizontal splits. Let's go to here and I can do OH and it gives me that horizontal split. Uh, go to one window, control C1, but notice it keeps the tab bar open. Um, another nice thing about this is it plays well with projectile, which I like for um, project management. So I showed projectile in an earlier video, so I can do control CP, sorry, control CP for projectile, switch project to another P, and I'm gonna go through view experiments, which is a little for a view JSC I'm playing with, and I'll just open up you know, my README for the hell of it. Now if I type F8, it just gives me this. It's not really what I'm looking for. I can just type G to reload everything. But instead, and this isn't down to a key yet, if I type in, if I load Tremax, not perspective. Projectile. Ah, three max projectile toggle. No, it's not working. Ah, space map default. Um, default is not found. Why is that? I thought I took that out. Let's go to my configuration. Maybe I just didn't reload this. Uh, let's look at three max. Did I take this out? Global map. Okay, that looks good. Let's um, let's run this again. Trimax projectile. Maybe I'll just have to reload this. Let me see if I can do this quickly. If not, I will do it again. Let me let me just kill Emax. Let me load it back up. Experiments, go to README, Tremax projectile. Weird, okay. So I'm going to stop this video and see if I can fix it, and then we will continue. Okay, starting this up again, uh, let me go to my configuration file. What I actually did, sorry, is um, I took out, I actually don't have it here anymore, um, I took out the map for SpaceMax up here for um, use package. Actually, I really should just get rid of the Tremax Evil, the whole Tremax Evil thing. Um, but I, um, I left in the global map, but then here under Tremax Projectile, I didn't take out the, um, the map for the Space Max map there. Uh, so I will clean this up later on. But anyway, back to this um, projectile project. I can do CP find file, and I'm in projectile and all that. Um, but now I can do Tremax Projectile. And notice that I'm now in Tremax, but it's limited by projectile. It's just within this project, which is really nice. I haven't bound this to a key yet, but it does, uh, you know, it just gives me this ability and I can open these files and say I want to open um, main.js and I can do a vertical split. You know, I can uh, go there, you know, I can go back to here, whatever I want. So it's a really, really nice look at, you know, it, it's really slick. We've got, you know, uh, the JS files are showing this, you know, git ignore, notice this, you know, the little icons here, HTML, HTML5 over here, JSON data here. So it's a really nice package. Um, it did seem a little quirky when I showed before that going, um, going into the directories, but, but it is brand new. But uh, I encourage you to check it out. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to use this. Uh, one thing I don't like is it doesn't respond to these. The, the click there, you have to kind of click it here, um, you know, like that type of thing. You know, that does not open app.view. Let's see if we do it here. It doesn't. Yes, that doesn't. Um, and if I were to use this type of thing, I'd probably use the mouse. Um, again, I'm, I'm really just, you know, I'm going to use things like, uh, you know, uh, you know, switch buffers using um, projectile stuff like that, or I might use projectile eye buffer. But again, really nice package. Um, makes it look a lot more like Atom or Sublime that does this. Uh, I encourage you to check it out and uh, see if it works for you. And that's it for this time. Okay, bye bye.